Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guy from Tech Store, and uh, this video is very informative for people who have purchased a laptop in the past seven to eight years and are very irritated with the screen quality that they have. They don't have a IPS panel. Now, what is IPS? IPS is basically in-plane switching, which means that you have wider viewing angles. Now, your existing laptop, when you're looking at it from the front, it might look good, but as soon as you tilt a little, you'll see ghosting and edges. Even when you're watching it with your friends, they are not able to see the video the way you are seeing it in the front. So that is a TN panel screen and you can convert that, you can remove that particular screen and put an IPS panel screen. So the wide viewing angle is there and from any angle that you see, you will see the same video or photo that you are viewing. In fact, even the sharpness increases, the brightness also increases when you are having a IPS panel screen. Now we have a HP laptop in hand with us. You can, you can have Dell or Lenovo or Acer or Asus, any brand whatsoever. The LED panels are available on our website. You just need to identify whether it is a 30 pin or a 40 pin paper LED by looking at some of the videos on the internet for your specific laptop. If it is a 30 pin paper LED, 15.6 or 14.0 or a 14.1, you can implement this particular process. We have not yet done for the 40 pin LEDs. We are sure about the 30 pin working absolutely fine. And even if your resolution is a normal HD, that is 1366 into 768, you can convert that into a full HD. So this is the way the laptop looks when it is having a TN panel screen, which is not having good viewing angles. As you can see from different angles, even you see there is a ghosting that is happening from just a little bit of tilt and you see edges happening just like your old time film negatives. This is the way you start seeing it. And once you replace with a IPS panel, this is the way it looks. As you can see, there is absolutely no edging whatsoever from any angle that you see. It looks absolutely the same. So for this uh, case, we have a HP laptop with us and we will dig deep into this and we will show you how to replace it. First thing first, we need to flip the laptop and remove all the screws that are visible over here. Now there are these rudders on, under which uh, there are screws and uh, it's a gummed rubber so get the gumming along with the rudder. Same with this side also and then remove all the screws that are there. Now we need to open it and uh, remove the base. The base comes off comfortably. We need to remove the battery first. So the battery has been removed. Then we need to remove the hinges over here. So as you can see, there are these three screws over here. And then two screws over here. Now we need to remove the LED cable, VGA cable. Slowly remove the hinges from this side as well as uh, the hinges which is holding onto the Wi-Fi connector antenna. And this side you have to remove like this and the entire base is off. Once it is off, you have access to the entire panel. So we now need to remove the bezel of this particular laptop. So you can start by just putting your fingernails. Uh, it's not very difficult. Just put it somewhere and it will start coming off. the entire thing will come off like this. Now this is the TN panel screen that you are seeing and uh, this is what we need to remove. Right, so just remove these screws over here. One, two, three, four. And uh, just remove the panel like this. There's a connector over here. Just need to remove it. Maybe hard glue on this and need to just remove it. So here goes your TN panel screen and uh, we will replace it with the IPS panel screen. This is the IPS panel screen. The part number is N156HCA-EAA revision C1. We first need to just put the 30 pin connector back. Do this slowly and carefully. Don't rush. 
just ensure that the entire thing is fitted properly and uh, now you can just put it back over here need to put the screws back and then you need to take the outer bezel and uh, put it like this now we need to put the base back it over this side insert the display cable back put on all the screws Let's put the battery back and we need to put the base cover back All right guys, so this was the video showing you how to change your existing LED panel, which is a TN1 to an IPS panel. Hope you liked the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Do let us know of your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Thank you so much.